Hello. In this video, I want to show you how you can control a stepper motor. Let's just talk you through the hardware that I've got. I've got a PIC micro board. I've got a potentiometer here on bit zero on port A. I've got a little LCD board. Uh, I've got a splitter board on port C uh, with a motors or actuators board here and a logic analyzer so we can see the signals. On the actuators board, I've got a servo motor, DC motor, and a stepper motor. And it's the stepper motor that we're going to look at uh, today. Um, let me show you the program first. So this is the program uh, in flow code. On my panel, I've got the LCD on port B, the stepper motor on port C. And stepper motors have typically four wires, uh, which are used to activate them and two coils effectively. I've got a potentiometer and that's going to allow us to put a value into the system uh, between naught and 255. So that's the panel. Uh, the program, I start the LCD and I enable the stepper motor and then we go into an endless loop. Uh, we clear the LCD. We get a value called stepper delay from the potentiometer. Stepper delay is a byte. It's a value between naught and 255, depending on the position of the rotor on the potentiometer. We move to 00, zero that's top left on the LCD, and we print step delay. We then put the cursor to uh, the second line, or line one, and we print the value of step delay, that's a value from the potentiometer, and then we move the stepper motor forward by one step, and we delay by stepper delay. So as the potentiometer value increases, the value of the delay increases as well. So it's a little program that allows us to uh, alter the delay between steps between zero and 255 milliseconds. Hopefully you understand that. Have a look again and work through it if you don't. Looking at um, the simulation then, you can see that uh, the screen says the step of delay, we can alter the delay, and basically the motor slows down when the delay is greater. So it's turning quite quickly when there's no delay and it's uh, turning quite slowly when there's a large delay. Now I've put that into the hardware already. So let's just see how that works in practice. Um, here's my potentiometer. Uh, let's turn the motor's board on. And at the moment it's going uh, very fast uh, because there's no delay and if I slow it up it'll go very much slower. So you can see there there's a delay of 255 milliseconds. You can just hear the stepper motor uh, clicking and moving but you can't see it very easily. Again just watch that little rotor there if I increase or decrease the delay sorry you can see it uh, turning very slowly. This stepper motor has quite a, a fine resolution, so it takes a lot of steps to move it um, one revolution. Okay, so that's the program working, and you can see the LEDs on the stepper motor here. Um, you can see them coming, going on and off. And to give you a better picture of how that works, let's look at the logic analyzer. Um, Let's just minimize that and if I start the logic analyzer you can see the signals. So these are the four lines going into the stepper motor and you can see that they go on and off at different times. And the stepper motor component inside Floco takes care of the sequencing for you. You just have to say increment or decrement the step. Now there's lots of information on how stepper motors work on the internet. Um, so you can do some research there to um, help you understand a bit more about how the two coils are used to move the rotor forward with the basic four steps in the stepper motor. Uh, so I won't do that here, but hopefully this shows you how you can use flow code to uh, control a stepper motor. Okay, thank you.